from heraldmailmedia.com from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Cancer diagnoses plummet during COVID-19 and experts fear that could mean worse disease later. Yeah, I hate to have to go back and do another the cure is worse than the disease story because we can look at this from two angles, right? There's the economic and there's the actual public health. And they're both freaking horrific. There, there's you even if you even if you want to like discount all of the economic stuff and say you know what I value human life so much I don't care if the materialism decreases but that's not in line with reality anyway because that is materialism that supports life that material wealth is life saving operations and medicines and treatments and 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 quality of life and better food for people and and you know all of those things for quality of life so this cancer diagnosis. <clears throat> uh, this is another one of these indicators where you're going to see, you know, a kind of lagging indicator of the cure being worse than the disease. One of the things that we've seen, we've covered this, and and I I, I look forward to it, not in a morbid way, but in a like, hey, we really got to cover this kind of way. The data that we're going to be seeing, uh, I, I think, hopefully in the next few weeks, if I had to guess, that we would have uh, some better data on suicides. So far, all I've seen is. Uh, limited geographic data, although pretty pretty decisive proof in those areas, at least, that suicides are outstripping corona deaths already. I mean, that should be enough. Like, why? Are, and, and by the way, none of the suicides are, oh my God, I'm so afraid that I might get corona. No, no, it's, it's the stress, the strain, the economic hardship. It's a lot of people with mental health disorders, right? You think of just, I mean, the state of mental health in this country as it is, and the a relationship we have with uh, pharmaceutical psychotropics. Is that the word? Just psychological pharmaceuticals. You know what I'm getting at here. Um, all, all, all these drugs that people are dependent on, at least for mood stability, if not mental health, you know, because they're, they're overprescribed. Uh, I'm not endorsing this, but I'm saying that shaking that system up by limiting people's access to medication to their fellow human beings, the people who have anxiety disorders, anger disorders, all the different things that stress people out, that are exacerbated by lockdowns, shutdowns, and economic depravity. You think a lot, I mean, how many crazy people out there are on the verge of suicide and then their jobs disappeared? Yeah. So to the cancer story, diagnoses of six common cancer types dropped in the early months of the coronavirus pandemic as routine screens were postponed by health systems and patients avoided going to the doctor for fear of contracting the virus, a new study suggests. The study, an analysis of Quest Diagnostics data published off, uh, online in the Journal of the American Medical Association Network Open, found that new diagnoses of breast, colorectal, lung, pancreatic, gastric, and esophageal cancers were down 46% between March 1 and April 18 of this year compared with the average diagnosis rate from previous years. Just to make this clear, like they're talking about testing. Oh, we got to get the test. So we gotta, well, cancer testing now is da like, down to the point where they are not finding half the cancer diagnoses that they normally do. You don't think that's going to have some kind of consequence down the road? I, I'm not angry about masks. I'm angry that you're getting people killed with this policy. Even now, it says patients are beginning to return for appointments. Now the doctor's offices and hospitals have resumed non-urgent procedures. Like just having to put off non-urgent procedures for months is it, going to get a lot of people. It, it has already gotten a lot of people killed, probably more than the virus. But many patients are still wary of exposure to the virus and have continued to delay care. And that's going to happen. It's going to be a problem for a long time. Kaufman said the latest research on delayed cancer diagnosis is an urgent reminder of why routine cancer screenings such as colonoscopies and mammograms are so important. As he said, we need healthcare to reach out to patients and invite them back in. If there are opportunities to expand hours, use telemedicine to connect. We need to think of clever ways to engage patients and bring them back. So I want to end this story with a, just a positive note as a reminder to look out for your own health. Look out for the health of those around you. Know that the medical industry is not supporting the public health the way it normally is. And we have to be more proactive, especially with mental health making sure that our friends, neighbors, relatives 
are getting the care and support that they need. That if you have someone who's isolated and is alone, that you go and reach out to them. If you have a neighbor who has who maybe elderly has health risks and they've been scared about the coronavirus, find a way to either alleviate their fears, put them in perspective, or you know just go over the top and get them full PPE and get them in to get that cancer screening if that's what it is that they need. Oh man, I'm getting. When do I have to start getting colonoscopies? At what age? I'm. I shouldn't be saying this. I have no idea. Because that's what this means for me, Adam. Don't let the coronavirus stop a doctor from sticking a finger in your butt to check your prostate and a telescope to make sure there's no polyps in there and what. Yeah, I'm getting to that age. All right, but seriously, take charge. Be responsible for your own health.